think we're good. <clears throat> Waking up to your roommate talking in their sleep is one thing, but it's a different situation when a good dream is interrupted by your roommate and four of her friends stumbling in at 3 a.m., knocking over your fishbowl and puking all over your desk. Chaos soon arises when your RA and a security guard are knocking at the door. You hesitate as you watch your half-dead half fish fall limp to the ground and realize that you're the only one in the room that's not too drunk to function. For a student living in the dorms, this is not an uncommon scenario. Residence life is not only a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, it provides unique life lessons. According to the Colorado State Housing and Dining Services, there are currently 5,000 students living in the 12 residence halls on campus. I not only lived in the residence halls as a freshman, but I was a senator on the Residence Hall Association and, and worked in the dining hall as well as the front desk. This morning I'm going to talk to you specifically about the benefits of living in the residence halls, floor atmospheres, and a few tips on how to have a successful experience in the dorms. Let's begin with a few of the advantages that come with living in the dorms. <laughs> the residence halls are in prime location to everything on campus. Last year, I woke up 10 minutes before my 8 a.m. class and enjoyed the five minute morning stroll as I watched off-campus students circle the parking lot frustrated to find a spot. A student's life is known to, to skyrocket in social life on campus because of the convenience to see friends. Freshman Jason Musso, living in Academic Village, commented, the dorms can be described as a continuous social party. I have, so many, I have met so many awesome people, and living in the dorms is basically like free entertainment. One of my personal favorite incentives to living in the dorms are the meal plans. Oh, the magic of meal swipes. With six dining centers and two express facilities open until 2 a.m., you can satisfy your hunger whenever it hits. Noted in the Housing and Dining Services Guide, CSU won the prestigious Horton Award in 2006, saluting the most successful ideas in menus, presentations, and special events. These are a few examples of the residence halls on campus, as well as the dining facilities. I'm enjoying the fall leaves in front of Braden Hall. And lastly, there's a wide variety of involvement opportunities for students in the halls. After an interview with the Assistant Director of Residence Education, Teresa Metzger, I discovered how living learning communities help adjust students to the college life. At CSU, examples of living learning communities include Global Village, Engineering, Pre-Vet, Key Service, and Leadership Development. Now that you all can't wait to dive into this dream life, I'm going to talk to you about the exciting experience of social growth, establishing identity, and making unforgettable memories. One of my favorite parts about the dorms are the floor atmospheres and communities that develop throughout the year. Sometimes the close living quarters of students provides opportunity to get to know your neighbors maybe a little bit too well. Sophomore Lincoln Markov, currently living in Ingersoll Hall, told me a story when everyone last year on his floor about adult-sized diapers. He walked onto his floor only to see people aimlessly running around in diapers. He described the experience as entering the world of Captain Underpants College series. Uh, this slide is a slide, some pictures from my floor last year. As you can see, they're all having fun just hanging out. Uh, this is a picture on the right of uh, someone moving into a room and everyone trying to get all of her stuff situated and in there. As you can see, they're all having a great time. Uh, this leads me to roommate stories. Meeting your roommate for the first time can be an exhilarating experience. Assistant, uh, resident assistant Nick, Nick Letterhouse remembered his first roommate bonding experience when his roommate and him both kept bumping their heads on the lofted beds. They eventually went to Walmart and purchased foam covering to help protect themselves from severe head injury. Now there's always the question if you should go into the year knowing your roommate or let destiny run its course. After a couple of weeks, my friend and I both realized we weren't destined to be the happy freshman roommates after all. <laughs> However, a lot of students end up becoming really close with their roommates. My friend Tiffany lived with her roommate for three years after moving out of the halls. So what exactly is an RA? An RA is an acronym for a resident assistant. 
My friend Joe Levy, who is currently the Assistant Resident Director in Braden Hall, described the role of an RA as a leader on the floor, setting a positive role model, and serving as a resource for students. Joe was once on a floor with freshmen who took down closet doors to play water pong, hid a pet dog in their rooms, and even talked about encounters with ghosts. Living in the residence halls presents a setting unlike any other. Students are provided with a considerable amount of benefits and unforgettable memories. I am now going to give you a few examples of tips on how to make your dorm life experience a positive one. First and foremost, stay open-minded. Don't be afraid to introduce yourself. Get to know your RA. Step outside of your comfort zone. Get involved somehow. Stay out past 2 a.m. at least once. Respect other people and their ideas. And akuna matata. <coughs> Don't take anything too seriously. I hope I have enlightened, entertained, and educated you about the unique experience dorm life provides. If you're ever on a date and looking for something interesting to talk about, you can always spark up a conversation with one of those crazy stories from the dorms. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> Comments from Lisa's row, which is this one, right? Yeah. Um, I thought you had a very good voice, like you're really loud and clear and like you did a good job getting out from like the podium and everything. Um the only really bad thing I saw, which wasn't even like that bad, was I thought maybe like some of the pictures were like too distracting almost. Like I was kinda of, like curious as to like what was going on like some of the you do, so they were like almost too good pictures. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want your USB? Oh, yeah. I didn't stop it. <laughs> <laughs> 